So let's look at what we're going to do today for our number talk. I want y'all to look at the, the problem on the board. Craig has two small pans of lasagna. Each pan is cut into four pieces. What fraction represents the total amount of lasagna? Don't think about that for just a minute. What fraction represents the total amount of lasagna? Now remember, this is how you show us that you are thinking. And really try to focus on how many pans of lasagna he has. Do you see some thinking? I see some ready to share. next to you. And remember, we don't want a friend to be left out. So if you see somebody, if you need to get three, that's fine. But tell them, tell your partner what you're thinking about the total, the fraction that represents the total amount. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's bring it back together. Okay, we want you to share what your partner was thinking. What is your partner thinking? So give me the answer that you're thinking and then we're going to prove it. The fraction that represents the total amount of lasagna. Ariana, go ahead. What did your partner say the answer was? Some agree. Ben? Eight. Eight. Ben, go ahead. Okay. Gavin? Two eights. Okay, does anybody have a different answer? It's not listed on the board. Do you have a different answer, Parker? Four halves. Okay, and actually here's four halves, right? Here. Oh. Four halves, yep. Okay, what do we notice about our answers? That They're you all different. They're all different. So what, can they all, can it? No, we have to no, prove it. That's exactly right. We can't have all these different answers that be correct. So we've got to prove it. So now it's time for you to tell what you're thinking. So let's start with two-fourths. Give me a thumbs up if you're the one who said two-fourths. Okay. Ava, would you like to explain to us how you got two fourths? Um, I knew that he had two, two um, pans, and then he cut each pan into four, so then I just thought it was two fourths. So he had two pans, you knew that. Okay, would it help y'all if I drew the pans as she's talking about it? Yes. Probably so, right? Okay, so let's do this. Here's my two pans. Okay. And Ava, what did you say? And um, he, there was, uh, they cut the lasagna into fourths. So each pan is cut into fourths? No, the, the lasagna inside. I know. So the lasagna inside, is it cut into fourths? So you're telling me I need to cut this pan lasagna into fourths, okay? <coughs> How do we make fourths? Half it and half each half. Okay. Do y'all want to do it half and cross, or do y'all want to do it? I think half, half and cross. Okay, that's okay. Because that still would be yeah. half and mm -hmm. half. Okay, what about the second pan? 
She thought about eight eights, and we're going to come back and talk about the, the different answers. Eight eights. Who gave the answer eight eights? Okay, boys. What are y'all thinking? Um, there were two pans, and each was cut into four pieces, so that would be eight pieces on a pan, so eight eights. All right, I want to go back to what you just said. How many pieces did you say were on a pan? Four. But did you say eight? There were eight pieces on the pan? On, what, on both of them, on both of them together. How many pans of lasagna are there? Two. Okay. And each whole pan of lasagna is cut into how many pieces? Okay. So when you say eight eighths, when the denominator is eight, what does the denominator tell us? That's how many pieces. That's how many pieces? In the what? Hole. In the hole. How many pieces are in this hole? Four. How many pieces are in that hole? Four. Man? It couldn't be um, four halves. Okay, well let's see. You said it couldn't be four halves? Well let's see what they were thinking. Who gave them the answer four halves? Go ahead. I thought that the bottom number was the total. Total what? Uh, like the groups. Okay. And remember, go back to that number line. Remember when we were partitioning our number line, we would have to remember when we go past one hole, our number of holes is not our denominator. Remember, the denominator tells us how many pieces are in each hole. Each hole. And then last, let me hear your thinking. Gavin on two eights. Go ahead, you can help me. <laughs> that was one of uh, since you said one of those ones, and I thought, uh, you never thought that since the, there's two pans, and you cut each of them in four pieces, and if you add that up, it's eight. Okay. Now listen to me, boys and girls. Y'all had some great conversations, and you're thinking about it. You really are. I can tell that. Now we're going to come together, and we're going to look at, and we're going to think about these answer choices that you gave us, but we're going to find the correct answer. Okay, you ready? Here's my two small pans of lasagna. Each pan is cut into four pieces. So I want you to just look at this first pan. If I eat this piece right here, what fraction did I eat? One Everybody. Four. Say it again. One four. I ate from this pan one fourth. Correct? Because there's how many pieces in this pan? Four. Four. And I ate one of them. One fourth. Well, what if somebody else ate Ava ate this piece? That's another one four. It's another what? So that's two fourths taken up. Okay, but what is the value of this? What's the fraction here one that four. she ate? One fourth. One fourth. What fraction does show this piece only? One fourth. One fourth. What fraction shows this piece? One fourth. One fourth. Okay, so if I ate the entire pan of lasagna, how much did I eat? Four fourths. Okay, give me a thumbs up. I want you to think about it. How much did I eat if I ate the entire pan of lasagna? In Fraction. Give me the fraction that I ate. Brooklyn. One hole. It is one hole. You're right. That is one hole. But what fraction represents one hole? Ava. Four holes. Do y'all agree with Ava? Yeah. What is the unit? What did we say the unit was? The unit fraction is what for each piece? One fourth. One fourth. So how many one fourth pieces would you eat if you ate the whole pan? Four. Four. Four fourths. Four fourths. Exactly right. So that's one pan. But how many pans do we have? Two. Two. So now let's go to this pan. 
What is the value in fra what's the fraction of this piece here? Everybody. One fourth. Again, it's a one fourth because it's cut into how many pieces? Four. So what's the what's the fraction of this piece? One fourth. One fourth. I love how your eyes appear. Okay. So now Let's think about this for a second. If you ate the entire pan of the second lasagna, what did you eat? Two well, let's not worry about this one right now. What is this? Four fourths. It's, okay, it's another one four fourths, right? It's another one fourth. It is. It's another one whole. Now we're going to put them together because if we have one another one whole here, and that's equal to four fourths. Now we're going to put it together. How many whole pans did we eat? Eight, eight, eight. Listen, how many whole two, pans? Two, two. two whole pans. How many fourths did we eat? Eight, eight, eight. So what would be my fraction of the total that I ate? Eight, eight, eight. Is, is it cut into eight? Two eights. Yeah. Yeah, four, eight, eight, eight Say it again, guys. Eight, eight fourths. fourths. How many fourths? Let's count the fourths. Ready? Go. One one fourth, two one fourths, three one fourths, four one fourths, five one fourths, six one fourths, seven one fourths, eight one fourths. So what is the fraction that you ate if you ate both pans? Eight fourths. I'm going to go on to add a next step. Okay? Yes. All right. If Miss Hagel were to bring in another pan of lasagna and it was cut into fourths, what fraction would that be? I want you to talk with your math partner about that. If we brought in one more pan of lasagna and it was cut into fourths, what would that fraction be? Good job, boys and girls. 